Hi, my name is Shamar Kiesel. I'm currently in the first year of a three-year doctoral research program at the University of Manchester. My supervisors are Professor Richard Warren, Professor Del Green, Dr. Kaylee Mason. For approximately 20 to 30 percent of people with psoriasis, topical treatments are ineffective and plaques end up covering at least 10 percent of the skin's surface. These people can be offered phototherapy, which involves exposing the skin to ultraviolet light with the aim of slowing down the rapid growth of skin cells. Ultimately, they may try treatments that directly target the immune system, namely conventional systemic drugs or biologics. Conventional systemic drugs act by decreasing the overall effect of the immune system in a bit to stop it from producing the extra skin cells that build up to form the plaques. Biologic drugs are a bit different as they target specific parts of the immune system that are thought to be responsible for the condition rather than the whole immune system. Although these types of drugs are proven to be effective, they might in theory come with a cost. As the immune system plays an important role in our body's ability to fight off cancer, dampening or blocking parts of it could alter the risk of cancer development. I should emphasize at this point that we don't necessarily think that this is the case. My research project involves comparing people with psoriasis who've been treated with only the conventional systemic treatments to those who've been treated with the biologics. This will help us to work out whether biologics increase the risk of cancer in people receiving these treatments. The British Association of Dermatologists Biologic Interventions Register, BADBIR, is a study tracking over 15,500 people with psoriasis being treated with conventional systemic drugs or biologics at 157 centres in the UK and Ireland. This will allow me to track the number of people that develop cancer after treatment over a long period of time. Using this data, I will calculate the risk of cancer for each treatment and what types of cancers are likely to develop. So this research is really important as it provides people with psoriasis and their clinicians with high quality evidence about the risk of cancer development when using biologic treatments versus conventional systemic treatments. These results will inform the care of these people and will also empower them to make more informed choices about their treatment for psoriasis.